Welcome back to The Daily Mix. One thing I love about Arizona is discovering the people who make an impact in other people's lives. And this is one place that I was introduced to about 20 years ago when I first came to Arizona. And I, I knew about the impact you guys have done. And now I'm realizing the impact that you continue to do with children. And it's Sunshine Acres. And with yes. me here is Shara. How are you this morning? Good. How are you, Brad? Doing good. Let's explain people to who you are. Because I know you guys have been, how long have you been in the Valley first? We've been there since 1954. Wow. So let's talk a little bit about what Sunshine Acres is all about and, and what you guys do. Absolutely. So we are a home for kids whose parents are incarcerated, maybe substance abuse, homelessness. Um, really, there's just a need. They have no family to take care of their kids, and they need someone to help them without giving them up. So we only take power of attorney. We don't take guardianship. And so we are really right beside helping to raise these kids um, why their parents are getting the help that they need. How did this all come about? Because it came about by someone special. But yes. Tell us a little bit about that story. So my great-grandparents saw what the homeless situation was like in the foster system back in the 30s and 40s and they realized the need and so they actually for 17 years prayed that they wanted to have a children's home didn't know how and they got a call one night that 125 acres dropped um, to $29,500 in Northeast Mesa and they drove out there and the day they saw it there was three abandoned buildings but the day they saw it, they knew it was Sunshine Acres and that day they knew that they were not going to solicit for any funds or take any state or federal funding that as long as they provided for the children they would be provided for. Yeah, you said something that was very important because I think um, there might be someone watching right now that is going through some troubled times, not being able to take care mm -hmm. of the kids. You say you just take care of power attorney. You don't take the kids away from these families. You pretty much are helping them have Correct. the ability to do what with the power of attorney? Absolutely. So we take care of their everyday needs. The kids will come and live on our property with us. Our homes are beautiful. We have a husband and wife that live in the house with the kids. So we have house parents in each home that they're, that's their full-time job. And so the kids can live with us. We'll take them to the doctor. We'll, we'll take them to school, get them the help they need in school, the services they need. And as long as the parents need us to help them, we're there to support and help. And I say we're family forever. We really are that extended family. We don't want to take away from the parents at all. We just want to add family to the the parents because they are in need and they need someone to help them. So after that, do the kids get to go back? Once the parents are back on their feet and ready to go, do you let them go back to the families? Right? Absolutely. You know, we love reunification. Ultimately, it's so important for the kids to be full time with their parents. Does it always happen? No, but we still are that support system for the parents. And so the kids can live with us for as long as they need to. We'll send them to college, vocational school, whatever the need is for that child where there to help them and, and again um, this is impacting a lot of lives because you just said right there your family forever mm -hmm. and I'd like you to tell us one story about someone who you've seen in that system that is back helping you Oh, I love that. So I used to be a flight attendant, and when I was um, flying with Southwest Airlines, there was a pilot, a captain, and he asked me to tell him a story. So I told him about Sunshine Acres, and he said, you know, I didn't realize the light in the desert was still there. When he was four years old, his mom left his dad. His dad dropped him off. He remembers being scared, but he remembers my great-grandparents and the love that my great-grandparents had for him. And he had a best friend named Billy, and him and Billy used to swing on the swings, and he said, someday I'm going to be a pilot. A year later, he had um, left Sunshine Acres. He had a really hard childhood growing up with his dad still, but it was because of the love that my grandparents showed him. He became a pilot. He went into the Navy, and he flew for Southwest Airlines, and he gives back. He flies back. A, oh, he lives in El Paso and flies back a lot, and every time he comes on property, he cries, and he just says, you know, if it wasn't for your grandparents and the love that they showed me, I would not be who I am today. I love it. That is it right there. That's yeah. what makes an impact. In, in our lives here and also other people's lives that we want people to get involved. How can people get involved with Sunshine Acres? Absolutely. Um, one thing is we have an amazing barbecue coming up. It's February 23rd. It's open to the public. It's from 11 to 3. Please come out and check us out. Um, if you want barbecue, it's $15 for adults, 5 for kids. But our all of our kids will be participating in 4-H and their horse program. And then if you want to come, go to sunshineacres.org to check us out. Give us a call. And um, we have many volunteer opportunities. I love it. And I think yes. Pat's part of that. Pat, oh, Pat is, is a part of that. So. He'll be there on February 23rd. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. So love to learn more about it.